Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. Now, what's your favorite thing to do on Saturday? I thought so. So, Saturday, what's better than spending your time downtown at your favorite restaurant having a brunch of your life? It's no greater feeling. But since we're in quarantine, unfortunately, we can't do that. But I got a solution for you guys. So today, we're gonna make the best. And when I say the best, I mean the absolute best. Ah, let me say that one more time. The absolute best French toast that you'll ever have. We're using brioche, and not just any brioche. We got apple cinnamon brioche that we're using for this French toast. And also, we got some delicious fried chicken. You hear about chicken and waffles all the time, or chicken and pancakes. When the last time you heard of French toast and chicken? And to top it all off, for that sweet tooth that I know you guys have, we got some homemade, when I say homemade, I mean homemade, <clears throat> delicious butter pecan syrup. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. And why even try to resist watching this video? Just sit back, relax, and welcome to the Bistro. Gotta cook, yeah, yeah. The boy got a flame, yeah. Serving in the kitchen like a Nino. Plenty pitching, whipping different flavors like a bistro. Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a seed no Switch and keep it pimping every single place that he go. I got it. Nathan got the flame, Nathan got the flame. Boy, you know the name, get up out the way. Nathan got the flame, Nathan got the flame. Stay up by the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Nathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man. All right, welcome back. So right now, we got our custard here that we're gonna make for our French toast. Got about a cup of half and half. Got about two and a half tablespoons of sugar, and that's just plain uh, granulated sugar. We got two whole eggs and two egg yolks. And I added the egg yolks in because it'll give it a more custardy feel. Um, this mix pretty much is, is a custard. Um, but it'll make it more decadent and a more custodier uh, feel. Um, then we have a teaspoon of good good quality vanilla. Um, don't use any of the imitation vanilla. Use real vanilla for this recipe. And also we have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we got a little salt just to enhance the sweet notes. So we're gonna mix these in. Add the eggs in first. Go ahead with the half and half. Like I said, this is pretty much like a custard. Everything in here is, 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 is like an ice cream base, pretty much. I'm gonna add our vanilla in. Then we'll go with the sugar. Then our cinnamon. Then just a pinch of salt. You wanna make sure all that cinnamon is mixed up in there and the sugar, you don't wanna feel no granules. Then once you get to this stage here, Get you a Pyrex container and transfer it in. And then just reserve it for your bread. Alright, we're back. We got our brioche bread here. Now, I was going to make brioche and I'm still going to make brioche and put it on the channel. But when I went to the store yesterday to get ingredients, 
Uh, the bakery had some fresh brioche and it was on sale at a decent price and I couldn't beat it. So I just went ahead and brought it. So for the sake of time, we have some pre-made brioche bread here. And make sure when you get the brioche, don't get pre-cut. Uh, you want to cut your own slices, especially when it comes to French toast because you want the slices to be about an inch thick. So, you know, but here we go. Cut a little bit of that end okay. off. So you will want thick slices of that brioche and kind of make them uniform. And this here is some apple cinnamon brioche. So it's going to set the French toast off even more. Um, but yeah, so we'll put our cutting board to the side there. Bring our custard mix here. Then we're gonna soak the brioche. And for a thick bread like this, wanna kinda soak it maybe about three, four minutes on each side. Cause you want this bread to soak up all that good custard. And with brioche being like this, this real eggy type bread, it'll, it'll just set it off even better because you got the eggs from the custard and then the eggs that's in the bread. I mean, what more could you ask for? Yeah, you just wanna let them soak about three minutes on each side. Um, the reserve bread, since I'm not gonna use it no time soon, I'm actually freeze it. And um, I use it for fresh toast again another time. And also, we're gonna make some good brioche bread for you for the channel and we can use that brioche that we're gonna make for French toast and other applications as well. So after this soak, I'll be back and we'll begin to cook our chicken and then we'll cook our French toast. Okay, we're gonna make our bread and fry fried chicken. So we got some flour in there. And for this application, I didn't use all-purpose flour. I went ahead and used self-rising flour. You can make your own self-rising flour as well, but I got another deal on it at the store, so I just went for it. And the cool thing about self-rising flour is it gives you that good color on that fried chicken because of those leavening agents. In it. So you get that good color that you know fried chicken to be. Um, so we got some garlic powder that we're going in with. I'm not gonna put salt. Uh, I'm gonna put a black in the spice in here. I'm not gonna put any salt because um, the chicken is marinated as well. Um, got some good garlic powder. I'm gonna go heavy on the black pepper because I, I like to see those black pepper specks in my fried chicken. And then, this is not a This is not a sponsored video, but I do like um, to slap your mama. Uh, just give it a good kick. I think this is a good Cajun season. And uh, so this is our flour mix here. Going with our hand, just kind of mix it up. So this is our seasoned flour that we're gonna fry chicken in. Let's test the flour. Test the oil, the oil is ready. So we'll begin to bread began to fry. So our oil is ready, it's 350. We're beginning to fry our chicken. You got a lot of chicken, you want to kind of fry it in batches. You don't want to just overcrowd the oil because it'll bring the oil temperature down and you won't get that good crispy fried chicken that you're looking for. So I got that working and I'm gonna go ahead and bread the rest of the chicken and then I come back with the chicken is ready.
so we back. So for the French toast, we're gonna use some whole butter that's unsweet. I mean, it's unsalted, it's sweet, whole butter. And we're not gonna cut it with anything because we're gonna sear this French toast off on each side, so on high, and then we're gonna finish it in a 350 degree oven just because we let it soak so long. And um, we want the outside to be kind of crispy, but the inside to still be kind of custardy. So once this butter melts, go ahead and get the French toast in there. And I know I said uh, let it soak for three minutes on each side, but I went on ahead and went about 11 minutes on each side, uh, just because the bread was so thick. So here we go. set this off on each side for about maybe three four minutes and then we're gonna finish it in a 350 degree oven and once we get to that point I'll show you what we're working with but it smells really good like I said this brioche bread is like the best bread in my opinion for French toast This is before the oven. Now last step for our French toast will be our butter pecan syrup. Now you can use your favorite syrup of choice or um, you can make your own syrup, just make it neutral like I did. <clears throat> and that's like with a simple syrup, a little, the white um, clear k roll syrup and um, some vanilla. And that'd be your syrup of choice. Or you can use a store bought syrup. But what we're gonna do for this application is to make it butter pecan, we're gonna add a tad bit of butter. Now, I wouldn't make the whole thing butter pecan, especially when you're using fresh butter because it's gonna congeal and you have to keep it in the fridge. So you always have to heat it up every time you use it. That's why I usually keep it neutral. But, <clears throat> so. We're gonna add in some pecans, some chopped pecans. And what we're doing here is just toasting them in the butter. And we're gonna add just a sprinkle of salt in. So I got some of those notes. And this is not a long process here. And since I got high heat, I can smell those nuts actually toasting. And the butter is kind of getting a little brown, so now we're gonna go ahead and kill our heat. And we're gonna add in our syrup. And the same when you make your syrup, it's gonna be really thin at first, but as I said, it'll thicken up. And so we got our syrup here. We're gonna let this rest and thicken up and then finish the french toast, get it plated up with the chicken french toast, the syrup, um, gonna drizzle it, powder sugar, so we'll be back. And that's the finished product there. We got a butter pecan syrup. Let us know. Finished product. 